a GRC analyst earns up to $300,000 a year without writing any code. Yes. In fact, I know cybersecurity analyst, compliance analyst, data analyst, GRC analyst who earn over $120,000 a year without a college degree. Yes, you are that right. $120,000 without a college degree. Do you want to earn a $120,000 a year without college degree, without IT certification, without um, a a IT experience, without tech degree? Let me explain if you've been following me on this channel and do not know who a GRC analyst in cybersecurity is. And I will tell you, a GRC analyst is a professional that is responsible for managing an organization's governance, risk management, and compliance in cybersecurity. Now you want to ask me like, what does that mean? What does that really mean? Let me tell you, a GRC analyst is like a navigator for a ship in the digital world. It helps set the rules to avoid storms by managing risk. Not only that, they ensure the ship follows all maritime laws to sail safely and smoothly. Now, in this case, the organization is the ship. The GRC analyst ensures that both the organization he works for and all stakeholders in the organization follow cybersecurity regulatory standards. Now, if hired as a GRC analyst, what would I be doing? You might be asking, like, what am I going to do if I'm being hired as a GRC analyst? I'm going to tell you, you'll be doing a lot, but to put them in perspective, I'm going to break down a few things for you. Number one is policy development. You will create and maintain cybersecurity policies, standards, and procedures to guide the organization's security practices. That's one of those things that you're going to do. And number two is risk assessment. I believe everyone knows about this. Some of you are just not comfortable or do not know what they do. And it's very simple and very easy. Trust me. You identify and assess cybersecurity risk and vulnerabilities, prioritizing them based on potential threats. You want to look at the likelihood. You want to look at the impact. You want to look at the cost and everything. That is basically what they do in risk assessment. And number three, that you want to do or that you might be doing or that you would do if you're hired as a GRC professional is compliance monitoring. That's number three. And what does that mean? You ensure the organization adheres to relevant laws, regulations, and industry standard, and also conducting regular compliance audit. You know, there are policies and regulations and laws that guide several organizations depending on what they do. So part of your duty as a compliance monitoring person or compliance analyst or GRC analyst or GRC consultant, whatever you do, one of such would be that you want to ensure that they comply. All right. So you want to ensure that they adhere to relevant laws and regulations and industry standard. All right. And number four is incident response. Incident response. What they do is basically develop and manage incident response plans, coordinating efforts to mitigate the impact of security incident. All right. That's basically what that means. Now, the number fifth one, the number five is reporting and communication. You want to provide reports to management on the organization's cybersecurity posture, risk and compliance status and also communicate security requirements effectively so that non-technical people can understand what you're talking about. The number 16 is data protection. Implement measures to safeguard sensitive data from breaches, including encryption and access control. Those two are one of the very important tools that they use, especially in data protection, which are encryption and access control. And number seven is continuous improvement. You want to stay updated on emerging threats and recommend security enhancement and adapt cybersecurity strategies to evolving landscapes. Okay, quick one. If you would like to earn multiple six figures in cybersecurity in 45 days, even without an IT degree or experience, if you would like to work from the comfort of your home, earning multiple six figures in cybersecurity in just 45 days, and I'm talking about $250,000 a year and above, I want you to click the link below to apply and schedule a destiny call with my team. 
if we find you a good fit, we will work with you to help you transition into multiple six figures in cybersecurity in just 45 days. Now, this is for serious and committed individuals who want to make a difference and earn multiple six figures in 45 days in cybersecurity. It is important to know that we have a 15% acceptance rate, which means if we see you do not qualify, we will not work with you. We work with individuals who consider themselves as elite. If you're ready to change your story and move to the next level, click the link now and apply to book a destiny call with my team and my team will meet you on the inside. Now, you might also want to ask me like, Tolu Lokwe, why would I recommend that you consider GRC if you intend to build a career in cybersecurity? And I'm going to tell you again, you know, I come bearing receipt and evidence, right? Now, companies everywhere need the services of a GRC person, a GRC analyst, GRC consultant, whatever the role is or whatever the title is, they need your service. Companies like Google, companies like Amazon, Forbes, Facebook, they all need the services of GRC analysts. Even TikTok, all the technology companies, they do. Do you know that Amazon was hit with an 887 million fine for non-compliance? You don't know. A GRC analyst ensures that such never happens to a company. A GRC analyst are paid well because of the role they play in the organization. So yes, you can earn up to 100,000, 200,000, or even more, okay? Now, I think the next question you might want to ask me is, how do you become a respected GRC analyst? You know, I got this question from one of my students. In his opinion, he didn't want to be a basic player in the industry. So he wanted to know what could be done to place a GRC analyst on the top side of the industry. And I will tell you, number one is education. You need to gain knowledge, take paid and free classes. You need to get any information and every information as much as you can. Number two is certifications. Even though they're not compulsory, but if you want to enhance your opportunity of getting jobs, if you want to place yourself as an authority in this industry, it is recommended that you get certifications. Even though it is non compulsory, but I recommend that you do that. Number three is experience. You need to gain experience in cybersecurity, compliance, or risk management through internships or entry level positions. All right? And number four is continuous learning. You need to stay updated with the latest cybersecurity threats, technologies, and compliance regulations. You don't want to be someone who doesn't know what is going on. You don't want to be someone who does not know the new things that are happening. So it is important that you give yourself to continuous learning. It's very important. And this takes me to the fifth one, which is networking. You know, they used to say your network determines your net worth. And I think it's, it's true, you know, to some extent. Your network determines your net worth. You need to build professional network by joining cybersecurity and GRC organizations, attending conferences and connecting with peers. And I think the another thing I'm going to let you know is that what are the soft skills that you need to thrive as a GRC analyst? Soft skills that you need to thrive as a GRC analyst. It's important I say this because I've seen people in the industry expressing stunted growth. And the reason can be mostly attributed to the absence or negligence of the skills below. Now, if you must make progress as a GRC analyst, you must adopt the following skills. Number one, you have to be proactive. Be proactive in identifying and addressing cybersecurity risk and compliance issues. Okay. Number two is collaborative. You have to collaborate. Okay. Work collaboratively with different departments to ensure alignment with GRC objectives. And the third one is patient. The third one is patient. Understand that achieving compliance and managing risk can take time and persistence. Okay inquisitive always ask questions and seek to understand the ever-changing landscape of cybersecurity. it's also important that you stay resilient okay stay determined when facing challenges or setbacks in managing GRC. trust me challenges will come 
setbacks will come, but you need to stay resilient. I'm a huge fan of possessing excellent technical skills. However, without the skills that I've mentioned, you will run into issues continually, and that will not speak well on you and your job. I hope you've been able to learn in this video what you need to know and the things you need to do to be one of the top and the best in your job as a GRC person. I'm going to see you in the next video. Bye for now.